Hello, my name is Julia and I'm sales manager of Prime Pro Investment Company. Today we're going to talk about schools in Northern Cyprus. We're going to tell you what kind of schools exist here, what are the prices and how to get there. If you want to know all the details about school system in Northern Cyprus, just keep watching this video till the end. Kids start their education in Northern Cyprus when they're aged five. Approximately they will spend 11 years at school. The school year will start in the middle of September and will end in the middle of June. In Northern Cyprus there are two types of school. There are private and public schools. All kids whose parents have got resident permit can study in public schools for free. There are a few types of private schools and they are divided according to the language of study. There are those who study in Turkish until the sixth grade and then they have some lessons in English and then last grades they will have lessons all in English. There are those schools who even the preschool kids will have their lessons in English until the last class. In Northern Cyprus, kids will go to the first grade according to the date of birth actually to the year of birth. So the kid can be five year old and another kid can be six year old, but they will go to the same class. For example, when my daughter had to go to the first grade, she was five because her birthday is in November. And I was really worried as one year is a huge difference at this age. However, she did really great and she was even better than some other kids who were older than her. By the way, today we are rolling at one of the public schools in Northern Cyprus. This is Lapta Middle School. Just look at this amazing view that kids can enjoy just every day from their classes. Many parents think that the education in Northern Cyprus is less strict than in other countries. However, here the preference are to find the abilities of your kid and to develop those abilities. Not just let them study something that they will forget in a month or two and never remember. You can see that the number of classes in a week are less than in other countries. However, they are not trying to make kids just like study and study harder. The main objective of schools here is to develop essential skills of your kid and to file, find those main ones and to pay attention to them. The class teacher is changed every year and the school building is changed according to the uh, school period. Now we are next to Nejad British College. This is one of the best schools in Kyrenia, together with English School of Kyrenia, which is located in Belo Pais. These schools provide their classes according to the British educational system, and it means that your kids can study in any college or university of the United Kingdom. As we mentioned before, one of the prestigious and more expensive schools in Cyprus is English School of Kyrenia. Education there will cost you starting from 5,000 to 8,000 pounds per year, depending on a grade of a child. At the same time, education in the child will cost you approximately 4 5,000 pounds depending on the grade, while education in door and near school will cost approximately 2 3,000 pounds per year. I would like to mention that most schools will collect 200 pounds non-refundable deposit if you register your child for the first time. If you chose public school, you will need to show your residence permit. In this case, government needs to make sure that you're going to stay on the island for a long period of time and that you have enough money for your kids to study. It doesn't matter whether your kid is going to study in a private or public school, you will need some documents that you need to present to the school, including your copy of your passports and copy of your child birth certificate. Moreover, you will need a residence certificate issued by a local headman. If your kid studied in another school before, you will need to show transcript of his or her grades. This transcript has to be translated into Turkish and you need to present it to the Ministry of Education. Within one week the Ministry will decide which grade your kid will go to. You can pay for the education one time in a year, every month or one time in six years. Depending on how you choose to pay, the price will change. For example, if you choose to pay every month, the price will increase by 200 pounds per month. The price doesn't include fees for books, uniform and transfer. This have to be paid separately. As I said before, all schools require uniform. Even if your kid attends public school, there will be uniform needed, which will be paid separately. According to the uniform, you can tell which school the kid attends. 
By the way, the nearest college doesn't request any extra payment for the uniform. You can see that education in Cyprus is focused on individuality of each kid. Your kid doesn't have to memorize lots of information that maybe will not be helpful at all. The teacher will help to find main skills and abilities of your child and help to develop them in future. Besides, each school has many extra lessons that the kid can attend. Some of them are for free, some of them extra charge. For example, like painting or drawing or learning extra languages like Mandarin or horse riding. It depends on your kid's preferences. You can choose whatever is the best for the kid. Moreover, each kid will have to pass the so-called A-levels. There's exams according to which your kid will be accepted to the university without extra tests. As a result, more than 90% of all students enter the most prestigious university in the world after they graduate schools in Cyprus. I was trying to provide as much detail as possible regarding the school education in Cyprus. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, we'll be happy to help you. I hope you liked this video and I hope to see you soon.